Take one. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Candace. <laughs> hey, you're wearing your uh, everyone's favorite octopus or squid or what? That's an octopus, right? This is everyone's favorite octopus. What? Well, I mean, a lot of people have always commented oh, on this. Oh, viewer, okay. I'm like... <laughs> not everyone's favorite. No, you're not an octopus. <laughs> Welcome back to the shed. Uh, today is Thursday. Thursday. And um, the we had an exciting night last night. Yes, we did. We and woke up even more excited. Yes. So, um, yesterday we got a phone call. Yeah, we got a phone call from Guy about three in the afternoon and uh he was he told us that he bought a whole case of these things and y'all would have already seen this video probably if you haven't seen that video it's, it's the, the one before this one right before this go give it a watch i don't want to rehash everything yeah. because it'll all be in there but uh yeah basically we bought all of these mcdonald's adult meal adult happy meal toys it, that were in a sealed case. They weren't sealed when we bought them because Guy opened the case. Uh, but they were sealed. We bought a full case of 150. 151 is what it turned out to be. They had an extra one in there. But um, yeah, we paid $900 for all of them. Yep. So $6 a unit or a little less, I guess, with the extra one. We've had a lot of naysayers. Oh, uh, we did. I mean, yeah. which I understand. Like, um, uh, to be honest, this was a risky play, I thought. Yeah, Lonnie was a nervous wreck, and it, it was risky because anytime the market could drop out for something like this, you got to move quick, um, strike while the iron's hot. And yeah. we were worried. We're like, okay, we're going to get all these and list them, and then people are just going to lose interest. And we're going to be stuck with all these. I've seen it happen before. Yeah. That's why. I was like, and, and plus, you know what? It wasn't even the money so much the money mattered i mean 900 dollars is a lot of money i don't care who you are well maybe well, uh maybe most uh, most people most re most normal people anyway 900 dollars is a good bit of money but even more than that uh had a little bit of pride on the line because we actually uh <laughs> right after we bought it i snapped a photo of the box i put it on instagram and i said uh my buddy wants 900 dollars for this full case should we buy it and I was just wanting to see what people's opinions were. We were all, we had already bought it. We had already committed to buy it and then we bought it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get those all packed up and we'll see how long that takes. So, so, so far, um, besides the actual buy, we have probably about an hour. The, the, the buy, the buy, it took, it took about 25 minutes to get there, 25 minutes to get back. The buy itself, you could say five minutes. We did hang out with Guy for about an hour or so. Like yeah. we're never going to just like show up hand guy money he hands us product thank you guy later no i mean we're gonna we're, like he's our friend so we're gonna you know hang out talk for a bit catch up whatnot so uh yeah i i'll say for now we have let, let's let's call it three hours we have into this so far okay. before packing and i think that's generous okay so uh let's get this packed and we'll be back so the the tag team approach actually worked i would um gener like pull the orders up over here i would search each username to make sure that was the only order they had a couple of them did have multiple orders uh we did get drop shipped at least a couple of times because one order had two different figures on it and going to two different addresses so definitely a drop ship probably or they could have bought it for a family member i'll tell lonnie i mean i, I like triple checked our characters and the numbers of each but we could have easily miscounted something and end up having to do a drop ship situation. So I right. understand. Yeah. yeah, this was when we got near the end, we were both a little. Uh, I, mean, I was like, okay, we have enough left for four full sets. And he checked. He's like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was getting nervous. Because I have done like big, big things like this before and then been short one at the end. I'm like, oh, man. And, so. you know, almost when we listed, almost was conservative with our number and left some extras out just nah, in case not this time it worked out perfect yeah so uh yeah it was actually a decent sales day other than this weird yeah. little thing that like this happened late in the day yeah like late at, yesterday afternoon we got the phone call so yeah it's, we, and, were, we were like listing and sorting them out like up to eight o'clock last night um yeah and then we went to bed not selling a lot and we're like uh-oh so we have uh, five hours into this. We'll look at the numbers for how we did on this um, later on today because I want to give the 
ones we put on sale and the ones Candace is about to change the photo for, I want to give them a chance to sell and hopefully we can just put a bow tie on the whole thing and it's completely over. But let's go ahead and pull some more orders. All right, let's go pull some more stuff. Now we do have our McDonald's case in here still. We actually saw somebody sold one of the just empty boxes one of the empty cases from those adult Happy Meal toys. Uh, if you look on eBay, there's some solds for like, 200. what, $200? Mm -hmm. Which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, it, it looks like a fake sale though, because I think, I think it got canceled and relisted and they took an offer and some weird stuff like that. So I doubt that's worth anything. Although we, we may consider, we might consider listing it. I don't know. We haven't thrown it out yet. Oh, did I mention what I was pulling? This is a uh, converter box. One of those go government converter boxes is still sealed. This sold for $21.99 plus shipping on top. Uh, find these pretty often at garage sales, still sealed. Um, and we paid $5 for this one. Eight Charlie, we sold some, uh, what are these? Eight Charlie, I think it's a uh, Wizard of Oz or something. Oh, I think it's Happy Meal toys, <laughs> actually. Let's see. This little bag right here. Is this them? Batman? I didn't even look. Oh, there's... There must be a sword. Oh, no. They just have a Batman thing. Little card in there. Okay, no, these are Madame Magzander, Wizard of Oz, Happy Meal, Monkey Munchkin Witch. These sold for $13.99 plus shipping on top. Then a little garage sale staple I like to pick up a lot. Imagine that. Wrong side, right? little gar common garage sale item I like to pick up when I find them in good condition. Oh. Oh, you know why this is already packed? Because somebody else bought this ball and then they canceled the order. Um, oh, they canceled it. Look, you can see I covered up the old mm -hmm. shipping label. They they bought it and canceled it after I put printed the label. They said something about... Right after I printed the label, they said something, uh, is this the blah, blah, blah size? And I said, hey, it hadn't left yet. I'll just cancel it. And they, they didn't say anything. So I canceled the order, put this over it, and relisted it, and then it sold again. So it's ready to go. It's going out just like that in that poly bag. That sold for $14.99 plus ship. We pay a buck or two for a football, typically. One Charlie. We do have cards going out too. We're going to pull those after we pull all the other stuff. Ah, here we go. One Charlie. We sold this little scale. And I always like, Candace knows, she's, she mentions this. I always like stuff with dials and gauges and stuff like that. This is kind of a cool looking scale, so I picked it up. Uh, I think for $2, I believe, something like that. $19.99 plus shipping for that. And I may have said, I may have said kitchen scale. I don't know if I did or not. This is actually a postage scale from night. Th those postage rates are from 1960. Wish we could still use them. MU31. I'm gonna move this McDonald's box. MU31 is right, right here. We've slowly been squeezing the, uh, combining the makeup or cosmetics boxes. There's just not a whole lot left. And I'm looking for a lipstick here. It's going to be a shorter box. Canoodle. It's one of these right here. This sold for $13.99 plus shipping on top. Then CC11, uh, right here, we sold these guys. These are some uh, Browning golf club head covers. Uh, these sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. We paid $2 for these at a garage sale. Right, time to pull some card orders now. Uh, or we already pulled them, I already pulled them. But we're just going to go over them real quick. This is a Crow card set that sold. And we sold a couple of these replacement cards, Spider-Man and Carnage, on one order. 
This is a Batman movie preview set. There's old, uh, Candace, what's your name? Old, uh, what, what's your name? I forget. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Yeah, there we go. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. There you go. Uh, then we sold a Green Bay Packers card for Jim Ringo, a center. I've actually heard of him. And this is an Iceman card. A, who is that? Troy Aikman card. That's a rookie, I think. And then this is on one order. These are, this is like the sh one of the shiniest cards I've seen. Blink, 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 blink. Both of these are Spider-Man 30th anniversary cards from 1995. And then this order has four cards on it. High Flyers. It's a Cooper Cup card. This is a good deal, I think. That's cool. A Cooper Cup patch on a card for $6. What a deal. Uh, Mike Leak, I think rookie card. Oh, that is a uh, auto card for five dollars. Then a Drew Pomerantz auto for six. Like that's some really nice. That's some really nice relic cards you that you can get for seventeen dollars for three relic cards. That's a good deal. And one of them's like a legit big star. And then this is a. Is this Albert Pujols or not? Yeah, that's Pujols. So, yeah, that, that's a good order there. I like that one. Um, Sam Darnold patch card for six. What a deal. I love it. Um, and then, what is this? This is a suspended animation Iron Man that sold for eight on that same order. And what is this? Reggie Raglan. I think this is a, yep, that's an auto also. So, that would be pretty awesome. That, oh, look, this was a cool one too because there were 75 in that run. And this is serial number 75 out of 75. So it's the last card in there. And then I did go ahead and pull Nude Mood Lipstick. And all this stuff sold for the prices you saw on the screen there. Okay, we are going to... Uh, I did pack those cards and stuff right there. And this a couple of smalls. We are going to try to go to some garage sales tomorrow if they're having some. Uh, so I am going to try and clear the deck as far as orders go and get everything out that I can. I'm looking for a little monkey. I think it might be this little guy. Lilith's Pet Shop Blind Bag Series 2 Red Monkey. This is him or her. $4.99 plus shipping on top for that. And then we sold this Marvel Iceman card for $9 or $8.99 plus ship. I am going to take it out of this. This is one of those thicker cases. I'm going to take it out of that and put it in a uh, penny sleeve and top loader. And we did sell another one of these LSU Sunday morning quarterback posters. $14.99 plus shipping on top for that. And this is a listing I just put up yesterday. This is a promo card lot. They're all like uncut sheets of cards. For different like this one on the back marvel cards universe 1994 they're all from like the mid 90s 1999 plus shipping on top for these well i keep thinking i'm about caught up and then another order comes in it's been just a really fantastic sales day and th that's not not just the um not just as far as the Happy Meal toys go. Also, just like just a ton of cards have sold and other stuff too. We actually have a couple more larger orders that we're going to be pulling in a minute. Also, um, I've just been holding off on those because those are going to go to ups, and the rest of this stuff is all USPS. But yeah, these two Dirk Nowitzki cards uh, that are right here, I'm about to put them in some penny sleeves and top loaders. Those two sold for how much? $13.98 total uh, plus shipping. All right, good news y'all. We dropped the price to $11.99 on cacti's. Candace did some new cacti's. photos. Cacti's, that's funny because they have two sets of eyes. Cacti's. I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Sorry, what? <laughs> Candace is uh, getting her salt and pepper shakers ready. Getting my shaker on. Yeah, shake it. Shake it like a... Hurry up. Wrap up this uh, shop because I'm about to turn the lights off. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, we sold the rest of these. They're all gone. So happy. I was a little stressed out yesterday because 
I knew we had to act fast. So we really priced under market on everything and moved everything. That was the whole point. I knew we were gonna leave a little bit of profit on the table and I was fine with to trade a little bit of profit to get rid of some of the risk. So this is just awesome everything's gone I'm still working away we actually made a few more sales uh, so we're gonna pull some more orders in this one y'all getting tired of pulling orders yet I'm not <laughs> you're not no hell no hell no Order, pulling orders equals money am I tired of glow in the dark glassware <laughs> hell no look at this how cool look it glows in the dark that's a that one is cool look at that so we've got a reamer which everyone knows i'm infatuated with reamers for some reason that is really odd and this butter dish is so cool look it says butter on top i don't know if i can see that let's see i don't know and then um it, they just both glow really nicely they do they must be very radioactive yeah. you can have radioactive butter let me wipe my hand off on you <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me where are some gloves lady jeez <laughs> What a day. We still got a few more things to pull though. For Charlie, we got some larger items and then we had an, another larger item just get bought while I was working with that other stuff. So I'm probably gonna stop buying these because they used to sell really quick. Oh, this one's like, this one's been in here so long, some breakable stuff has been stacked around it. You gotta be careful. This is one of those, um, under cabinet sony stereos bought this for i remember buying it it was like it was five dollars and we finally sold it for 34.99 plus shipping on top and it uh, you always want to check to make sure it comes with these spacer things uh for the install and usually they do though usually people leave them like this or sometimes they'll have a bag taped to them with them which is what i'm going to do with these i'm going to take them out uh put them in a little bag and probably i'm not i'm not going to tape it i'll probably just put it in the box then we have a candace thing that sold one bravo this has been listed a while too where are you there it is it is right back here some of our older listings are selling oh this is a this is a much simpler picture than i was expecting candace this is it yep pyrex butterfly gold clear glass picture tableware 64.99 uh what do you pay what do you pay for something like that remember that was at the sale where mm -hmm. um it was the older lady yep and i got the medical jars mm-hmm and i think i paid like 10 bucks for it okay so she she would not go down because it was her daughter's and her daughter was in a business meeting and i was like man i mean i had looked i comped it before i wouldn't even approached her but then i was like does this thing really sell for this much i just couldn't believe it because i i know that kind of stuff it right? looks kind of plain to sell for right. that much i mean and it's that, nice that pattern of like corel and pyrex is not super popular so i'm like i was doubtful but I went ahead and did it. I yeah. made it, and um, it worked out. So. Yeah, that was a good score. <laughs> yeah. Took well, it took a couple of months. It wasn't yeah, too bad. Yeah, that was a few months ago. Yeah. One last thing. It's a good one though. It is this helmet. Oh shoot! We sold a helmet. <laughs> you think they make a shucks? Oh shoot. You think they make a, a, a shucks brand helmet? Oh shucks. Shoot or shucks? <laughs> this helmet uh bought it for five or ten one of the two look at the inside the padding on the inside is like perfect and uh sold sold that for a hundred and twelve dollars and 49 cents plus shipping on top uh that is everything that sold i am I'm, i've been kind of shooting like another video like where we picked up been all sh i've been shooting <laughs> shooter <laughs> i've been i know it's shut or whatever shoot shut i wonder if i got the lids mixed up That's what I'm you might have let me see it let's see candace oh you definitely got the lids mixed up okay. i think maybe 
Yeah. Okay. Let me, that is it match the pattern? Well, mm -hmm. they're all the same pattern. It's oh, this, are they? Yeah, cameos. That definitely it. fits better. Okay. Because so the other lid, like, it didn't feel I'll right. I'll take these pictures. Yeah, you do. Okay. You better hurry up and take that thing down. <laughs> but yeah, sold this for 112 49 plus shipping on top. Uh, helmets are something that I slept on for years. We didn't, I didn't start really getting serious about, I'm not serious about buying helmets. I pay $5 at garage sales. I don't know if that would qualify as serious. But uh, we didn't, I wasn't really looking for helmets before the past year or so and now i'm like hooked on them because they are big money <laughs> even and even the ones that aren't big money are still pretty good uh, i'm gonna get this stuff packed and then i'm also simultaneously shooting another video about the mcdonald's toys that will have come out before this video so uh, i'm gonna run the numbers on those mcdonald toys and try and come up with a pretty close approximation of exactly how much we made after all the fees pack of materials all that kind of stuff comes out and cost of goods sold of course what a day y'all candace is bringing molly to some kind of girl scout thing i've been out here uh just finishing up some odds and ends we got so much stuff everywhere in the shed right now um that's outgoing stuff we have some outgoing ups and uh we have some outgoing usps for tomorrow over there that stuff's gonna go out i i looked at my uh performance report on ebay a hundred and I think it was 131 orders <laughs> that went out today. I packed all 131 today too. That those those orders came in, in the past two days. I haven't packed that much stuff in a while because not only did we do this, um, not only did we do the McDonald toy thing, but we also uh, had a bunch of card orders and a lot of other orders come in. It was just a good sales day, so. Uh, very fun. So uh, if y'all want to see like the really specific breakdown of the numbers on the McDonald's toys, watch the last video. I'm going to go into a little more detail there. But um, after all fees and everything, cost of goods, fees, uh, I, I did pro promoted listing on everything. After everything is accounted for, including packing supplies and everything, uh, we're $855.56 to the good um profit and we spent about five hours to get that so uh that was a lot of fun it was a little stressful it was a little bit of a gamble uh it worked out uh, hopefully we don't have any issues with the orders we shipped you know somebody saying um uh, yeah i got my four i got the four things and the uh, i got two grimaces i'm missing a hamburglar or you know something like that because hamburglar is the the rarest one, the shortest packed. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, y'all. I'm very tired. <laughs> We're going to garage sales tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.